guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story Time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment to my page. Here we go! Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time on today. Today I will be reading to you guys a Disney bedtime favorites. I looked at my old ones and I haven't did this book in almost a year since last year. So the last one that I saw that I did was Finding Nemo and this one will be up. And that's Watchdog 183. Let's get it. So at least I got down. You know. <laughs> Y'all, let's get it. You know, life hits and everything just... But I still got the books. Let's go, guys. All right. Watchdog. Doug bounded over some rocks, scrambled up a hill, and crossed a little stream. The golden retriever was looking for a spot to camp for the night. Following him were his friends Carl and Russell. Doug had met them in South America when Carl and Russell were on an adventure. Now they were having another adventure. A camp out. Oh, camp out. Never tried it. I always wanted to. Around his neck, Doug wore a high-tech collar that helped him speak to humans. Find the spot. Find the spot. He chanted aloud. Suddenly, Doug saw a good place. Point! He shouted. He froze and pointed toward a clearing ahead. It had trees on three sides and a beautiful view across the valley. Carl put down their picnic basket. Next to it, he placed a jug of lemonade. Okay, Russell, let's set up those tents of yours, he said. The day had been full of new sights and sounds. Carl, Russell, and Doug had hiked along a trail and climbed to a beautiful overlook but now the day was over and the sun was setting carl and russell put up tents and unrolled their sleeping bags they cooked dinner over the campfire and afterward they roasted marshmallows soon russell began to yawn it was bedtime his eyes half closed russell started to walk toward his tent i know that feeling <laughs> Hey, look at this, Russell shouted. On the ground just past the campfire was a trail of paw prints. I wonder what kind of animal made these, Carl said, looking at the tracks. I'll check my wilderness explorer manual, Russell said, but Carl shook his head. Bedtime, he instructed. I will keep watch all night, Doug exclaimed. <laughs> Doug was proud to have such an important job. He was going to be a super watchdog. While Carl and Russell went to bed, Doug went outside, sat outside the tents, as still as a statue. But wait, what was that by the oak tree? A squirrel? Doug charged toward the tree and tripped over a rope on Russell's tent. Part of the tent collapsed. Doug hung his head. He hadn't meant for that to happen. Doug slunk back to his watching spot. He had made one mistake, but that could happen to any watchdog. Suddenly, a bat swooped down over the clearing. Doug jumped up in surprise. He accidentally knocked over the jug of lemonade behind him, and it spilled on the ground. Embarrassed, Doug went to the stand guard near Carl's tent. Oh, it's okay, Doug. You trying. You trying. Doug watched as the moon traveled across the night sky. Russell, Russell, Russell. What was that noise? Doug snuck across the clearing, keeping low to the ground. He spotted fresh paw prints in the dirt. Then he saw a shadow near a tree. Something was prowling. Now it was rummaging. Woof, 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 Doug barked. The intruder turned around toward him. It was a raccoon, and it was trying to get their food. Move away from the basket, Doug said. That is our breakfast. The raccoon grabbed the string of sausages in the teeth. Doug took the other end. He tugged. The raccoon tugged. Doug tugged harder. Finally, the raccoon let go. Doug had won. I know that's right, Doug. Fight for your food. <laughs> Defeated, 
The raccoons scampered away. Doug triumphantly carried the sausages back to the picnic basket. They were a little roughed up and dirty. A couple of leaves were struck to the slobbery spots, but he was sure Carl and Russell wouldn't mind. Doug was proud of himself. He had spotted the intruder in the dark and scared it away. He had even saved breakfast. He felt like a top watch dog. I know that's right. Go ahead, Doug. <laughs> Soon, the sky started to lighten, and the stars began to fade. Doug was very sleepy. His eyes felt so heavy. His paws felt so heavy. His ears and nose tail were so heavy, too. But he couldn't give up standing guard now. It was almost morning. Doug put his head down on his paws. He would rest for just a minute and then go back to keeping watch. Resting his head felt nice. Maybe he should rest his ass for a minute too. It was getting harder and harder to keep them open. Hunk shoo! Hunk shoo! Doug fell asleep. A few minutes later, Carl came out of his tent. He no longer slept as much as he used to. Carl looked around the clearing. He noticed Russell's tent and heard the boy still snoring. He saw the dirty sausages sticking out of the picnic basket and the jug of lemonade on his side. Uh oh. Carl sat next to Doug. Doug opened one eye. I found him. I found the creature that made the paw prints. He said, Yes, I heard you. Carl said he gave Doug a pat on the head. Good dog. Good dog. Together, Doug and Carl watched the sun rise over the misty valley. All right, guys. That was a good one. I like that. All right. Cool. And that was up. Doug, watch dog. Watch Doug. That's what it was. Watch Doug. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Storytime. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my page if you haven't done so already. All right, guys. Uh, you can start recommending some books. I want to see if I can find some other books. All right, guys. Bye.